Here we go, here we go with a special one. Like this video, subscribe to the channel, and share with your friends and family. Send my link to all your contacts on your cell phone. Send my link. This is a great channel we're doing. We're making like great food here. So pass it on, pass it on. And let's see what we need for our pork rinds or pork cracklings. Yeah, deep fried pork skin. And this, here we go. So you just need two ingredients. You need the pork skin, obviously. And you need salt. That's all you need. So I'm using here pink Himalayan salt. And obviously you need the pork skin with no fat at all. You see how I trim all the fat. You can also buy it like this in the supermarket. But it cannot have, have any fat back there. It has to be only the pork skin. Clean just like that. And we're going to cut this in, uh, in little strips to make it easier that... How big or how small you want to cut them, that depends on what, what the size of your frying pan. And this is a thick skin and it's hard, so you need a nice sharp knife to cut through that. And you see, you can leave it like that or you could even make it smaller. When, once you deep fry this at the end, they're going to double in size, so think about that. So this is about the size that I will recommend. And we're going to do the same thing with this. It makes it easier. If you actually roll this skin, you make a little roll here. Instead of just doing a, a long cut, you'd make a roll and then you cut just like that. And it's a lot easier than doing a long cut because, again, this skin is really, really, really hard. So you need a sharp knife and some knife skills. And be careful because this is, this is a hard skin. So that's about the sizes that we're looking for. Uh, that again, that that's only depends on the, the size of your frying pan. So if you have a big, big daddy or something like that, you might just leave it like, like these long strips. I prefer the kind of square ones because I'm using a small saucepan here for frying it. So with the tip of the knife, I'm going to make some cuts on the back of that skin, but I, I don't want to go through all the way. You see how it's just superficial? So you're going to just mark those cuts on the back of the skin just like that without cutting all the way through so you make make a few slits like this uh, they don't have to be perfect this is just to help us on the frying portion of the video is going to actually help the pork skin to curl and double the size so and if you, and if you cut through that that's not that's not a bad thing either so but you just want to mark it like that so boiling water I'm gonna boil water here. Here's about four cups of water and I'm gonna boil these pork skins, just salt and water. So two teaspoons of salt, that should be enough. Don't, don't be afraid it will be too salty, it will not be. This is just for the cooking process. We're gonna deep fry this later. So make sure the salt is dissolved here in the boiling water. And once you start boiling, once you start boiling, you're going to lower that heat to medium and we're going to boil our pork skins here for about 20 to 25 minutes. So once it's boiling, we're going to just drop the pork skins in the water there and you're going to let this boil over medium heat for about 20 to 25 minutes. So you just drop them there. Uh, don't overcrowd your saucepan, but uh, I think this this is a good size for this one So I'm gonna drop this all here, but if you're making a bigger batch You might need a bigger saucepan or something. So about after about 20 minutes So or so 20 to 25 minutes you want to make sure that they are done by using uh, the fork so after 20 minutes or so you cut the the heat turn it off and then with the with the fork, you wanna you gotta make sure that the fork goes through the skin. If it doesn't, then you gotta leave it, leave it a little bit longer. But it should go through the skin after 20 to 25 minutes. That, that's when you know it's done. You see how it looks here? This the fork goes through the skin. If this wasn't done, it would not do that at all. So this is what you're looking for. You see how the fork goes through with, with not a lot of force. And this is, this is what you're looking for. And you, you are trying to see, you want to rip it off, it should rip off easy. So that's what we're looking for. We're going to put them here. 
on a baking you can use any container because this is not going to be baked this is just going to be under the sun for three days you're going to put this under the sun direct sunlight for three days so you want to put them on the window ledge but they have to dry up for three days with sunlight i didn't have sunlight so i use uh the, the bulbs that i use for my plants and this is how they look after three days three days you see how hard they are this actually looks like almost like hard plastic it's really hard and you know if you compare that to the actual steam you wouldn't believe it but this is how they actually look at the end they're really crunchy and hard like they almost like hard plastic so we're gonna deep fry these uh pork skins and we're gonna use a uh, medium heat the heat should be around i mean the oil should be around 325 325 is a good temperature for these 325 and you're just gonna drop it drop them in there now here for the frying part do not overcrowd your saucepan because they're gonna double in size and you're gonna have to be moving these around so i'm gonna use use two batches so half of them first you see how they went to the bottom and now they start curling up and they're gonna come up to the surface all curled up and bubbly so that's what you that's what you want except that's exactly what you want so now you gotta keep it moving because now they're floating so if you don't move them around some of some of it might not be immersed in that oil so you want to move them around move them around constantly for about for about three minutes i don't I, I don't think it's gonna take more than five so i would say something around three minutes so you keep moving them like this until you get to the desired color just keep moving them like that don't let them burn look for that nice color i think these are these are okay so that was about three minutes there so i'm gonna take them out of the hot oil here and i'm gonna put them on the side on a napkin or something so it soaks up the excess oil so you're gonna put them on the side right off the frying pan you're gonna put them on the side and now i like when, I, when they're like when they're outside here like that's fresh i like to put some salt now that they're still wet and the salt will actually stick to them i'm gonna make the second batch here same thing you just drop them there they go to the bottom and almost immediately they're gonna start curling up and come to the surface again and same thing you fry them until you get to the desired color you see this batch here i actually made it a little bit darker this is more golden color so i think that's enough uh this is not gonna change the crispiness but i'm gonna take them out these are a little bit darker than the first batch but they're all gonna be crunchy and delicious anyway crunchy crunchy pork rinds you'll see and, and these are homemade homemade you didn't have to buy don't buy any more shit at the store these are the pork rinds you have to do you do it yourself you know what's in there and you enjoy it is how they look you see the different colors but they all crunchy so i'm gonna grab one here and take a look at this and listen to this how crunchy they are look at that they just they just just super 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 crunchy i'll say these are better than the ones you buy in a bag in, in a supermarket so hope you enjoy let's try it you'll see how crunchy they are you hear that super crunchy super crunchy right there perfect pork rinds or pork cracklings so there you have it folks i hope you enjoyed if you if you did please like the video subscribe to the channel and pass it on to your friends and family until next time